Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Achilles Legends Untold. This will be episode 8 of the series, I guess. Um, we just left it on the new map. Yeah, this is basically the new map. Looks like pretty big. Um, let's continue with the main story because we were supposed to open this gate. <laughs> what the fuck was happening there? Oh, the blacksmith's here as well, that's good. What are you doing here? I realized I couldn't leave you alone with all this mess. From what the Oracle managed to tell me, the situation looks serious. I can already sense a foreign aura that is weakening me here. I'm afraid the minions of that being have reached these parts. They may have taken over my temple. Make sure it's safe there, Achilles. You will find it near the mountain range. If that being's force corrupted my temple, you'll have to find a way to clear it of its influence. Before you go, I also would like to ask you for a favor. I need to retrieve a certain... Old hammer infused with great power. Um, to take on something outside the world of the living, you'll need much better equipment. I can't make any with the crap I have on hand. The hammer is somewhere in the labyrinth, erected on a certain island. Sounds like a fairy tale. But I've trusted you so far, and I'll trust you now too. How do I get there? Reach the harbor and embark on a ship, and sail straight ahead east. Surely you'll find it. I'll look around for that hammer and check the temple. You too should stay behind. Good luck, Achilles. Hopefully, our joint effort can save Greece. Okay, so actually now I think we got two quests, apparently, because uh, the Oracle was sending us so the old temple i guess find the temple let's see where this is okay this is on the new map and uh, this is again on the same map the thing for me is like this I was uh, expecting them to send us back, but because I don't mind doing this once, but in the same time we have the old map Greece basically. If you see, if you see here, we still have some. It, so we have this one, we have this one, this one, and this one. Uh, they are like dungeons. So basically what I'm thinking is to explore them. Because maybe we're going to find some badass weapons or something like that. And at the same time we have one rift. This is awkward in a way. Because uh, we closed how many rifts? Just one or two of them. Because I remember here was another rift. Wait a second. Let me see. Let me test something. Towards the old cemetery. Because I remember I passed that thing when we got the skill. And it was like a rift somewhere around. Skeletons, I miss them. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so. Yeah, so now this is showing on the map. 
But why they are not showing on the map? Do you have any ideas? Please leave it in the comment section. Because this, this means I have to explore all the map again to find the rift. I don't get it. Because I remember when we got the skill. We came onto this area somehow. Because we, we had to... To unlock this. And it was like another one. Somewhere here. And I remember I saw this rift. That's why I'm, I I was like... And we closed just one of it. It was another rift here. Let me see. I don't know if we sealed... Because I think we sealed the rift. Uh, where is the teleporter? Okay, it's there. But that, this is awkward. I was expecting the rifts to be like shown on the showed on the map. Get the fuck down, bro. It was that lady which was knocking down a tree. It wasn't here. Because we had to open... Ah, it was here. Here was a rift, yeah. I think we sealed that one. Guys, chill the fuck down. What take him? Don't take anyone, because I can fucking smash your heads out. Report. But this is extremely awkward. Because I remember the first rift, rift appeared, yeah, where this crazy woman is. She's a blondie. She's using a hammer to cut a tree. I don't think it's because she's a blondie. No, uh, no offense to the blondie. But uh, she's doing it wrong. Here was a rift. As soon as we climbed down the ladders was a rift. We sealed that one. And after that we moved on. And I remember I was teleport teleporting here. And as soon as I teleport here I passed this region and I saw the rift. But I don't know why, why the rifts are not showing on the map. It's a bit awkward. Yeah, fuck the rifts anyway. Yep. I, I'm not gonna be bothered by rifts now. Because anyway, they are awarding you one skill point. That one skill point can be extremely important. But in the same time, we can explore this. Finish all these ones. Because we have this, 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 and this one. And after that, that, we can move to the new map, and maybe meanwhile, the rifts will appear on the map. I don't know how they will fix themselves, but I'm gonna check on internet. I'm gonna try Google to see if... Uh... I wanna see how many of them are, because we still just one till now. Guys, come on, please, please stop fighting me. I can fucking tear you down in fucking seconds. Just chill the fuck out. You are not even awarding me experience. Like, I don't want to waste my time with these motherfuckers. I want to just explore the the dungeons, like, because maybe we're gonna get some items. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I want like a. A new sword. We explored this already. We've been into this one. I was thinking. I was talking in the last, in the previous episode, 
of me doing a guide on skills and the guide on the weapon choices and all these things i don't know because I, I don't know if i want to do that now and because to be fair with you i'm thinking to do a guide after i'm finishing the game or when we get close to end the game like but the thing for me is like what the fuck this motherfucker was was hiding in plain sight like but just because the camera is shit you can't really spot it uh, beat me bloody bro what the fuck is wrong with these guys <laughs> he set himself on fire you are such an idiot that's the best way to stack them you know like a decapitated bro yeah so let's start with this one i hope they won't be like long stupid ass fucking dungeons like you know what i mean because i'm really not in the mood um, so yeah, I was talking about guide, yeah, the guide basically. Mm, I'm thinking to to do the guide when we are coming, because what's the point of doing a guide now and after that to make another one, because like I spotted on the last year episode, you know, we are coming close to an end, we just got onto the new map. I guess it's the last map or like last two maps. So I really don't don't know if if I want to do a guide, you know. Look, skills skills wise, yeah. From my point of view, look, I'm going to explain this like in fucking 5 minutes. Um basically you start on this thing yeah so from my point of view you have this most of them are shit they this is shit this is shit this one is shit this one is shit and this one is shit i'm gonna explain you why and in the same time i want to now depends on what difficulty you want to play if you want to play like on the hardest difficulty Achilles must die and you want to do like a deathless run you should definitely start this way because basically you are starting from this point yeah so I, I definitely recommend you to start like this you know don't don't focus on them two the ones above just go straight onto this because you want to drink potions more quickly. Meanwhile, you're gonna get like loads of uh, vitality points. You're gonna get uh, in 800 numbers, yeah? And in the same time, if you are here, consider on, on investing your points fully into this whale. Because you're gonna get this. You can, uh, you can choose to revive a... Uh, hero at the location of their death for a price from what i'm seeing in this video there is like 250 gold so it's like a small amount and that will basically defile death you won't die you'll just come back up i never reached this point and i don't want to reach that point that that means for me a deathless run but i invested in this Anyway, I, I invested into this because it's like vitality. And this will basically cheat death. You know what I mean? You won't die, you're gonna get re revived. So I don't know if it will count as a death. I don't know this one. But I don't want to get onto that screen. Just, for, just to, to explain it for you. Because what I'm f seeing, it, this is the death. This is a death, basically screen. And 
If I'm doing a deathless run, I need to don't get onto this screen. But I already invested the points into this, so I unlocked this automatically. Now, if you play on a lower div as soon as so let, let's finish with this. A hill is must die, deathless run. This one I I prioritize it. Uh, I went even further. I unlocked this one just because extra vitality. And after that I jumped onto onto the lion basically. Because lion gives you like on the way to unlock it, you're gonna get a lot of endurance. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get this skill. Like a passive skill on the way there. Each hit restores a small amount of fury, which is like oh, extremely OP. Killing an opponent restores a small amount of fury, which again basically you're gonna you're gonna restore fury by hitting and killing enemies. Your fury will stay on 100 most of the time. After that you have blood frenzy. This one is like as soon as you get get hit, your health will gonna go on a yellow uh, bar basically. So that that yellow bar will gonna start draining. If you hit an opponent, that you're gonna recover some percentage of that one. Uh, killing an opponent restores a small amount of HP. This is extremely good for sustainability. It will give you like as, as soon as you kill an enemy, you're gonna replenish some HP. So put it like it's some type of lifesteal, yeah. And beside this, you have each attack in a combo increases the damage dealt. Uh, my weapon choice was like were like dual wielding, and. This is extremely effective with dual wielding, you know, because if you manage your energy wisely, you can chain like free attacks and you're going to see an increased number on that, you know, so it can be worth, it's extremely worth, you know, I think even with two hand weapons will going to work, but because I didn't play like two hand swords till now. I can't really tell you exactly the, the numbers on it, but I'm gonna test it anyway. Uh, if you don't play for like, if you don't if you don't play Achilles must die, you can even if you play Achilles must die, put it like this: you unlock this, and after that you jump onto Lion. If you try to do a deathless run for, I, I'm recommending you to go full onto these ones first. Because you, your health will gonna be bumped on something around 1,000, 1 1.1,000 HP. Which is more than enough, so it'll give you enough HP to, to don't get like one-shotted by enemies, you know. Uh, after that I invested into this. Now, if you, if you don't give a shit about a deathless run, if you don't give a shit about like the hardest difficulty, go straight on to this i know it's a waste basically because you're gonna waste eight point into this one just into the hound and two points so basically you're gonna waste waste 10 points on luck mostly but the thing is you're gonna get like 10 percent because this one is 10 percent ish uh, bonus experience and I don't know what the number on this, but I let, let's put it like this. It's another 10 or 15, yeah? If it's more, it's even better. But you're going to get around 25 bonus experience points for defeating enemies. In a long run, this... If you invest into this in the beginning of the game, on a long term, you're going to get like extra 10 skill points, maybe. Maybe even more, you know what I mean? Because till the end of the game, for sure, you're gonna level up at least 10 more levels, you know? So consider this if you are not doing a deathless run, at least. Because if you're not doing a deathless run, you don't give a shit if you're dying. So extra experience is always good, you know? Now, for the ones which are trying to use. Uh, 
let's let's say you are trying to use i'm using dual wielding some of you guys maybe are using like two hand weapons uh, some of you maybe wants to play like a sword and a shield or an axe and a shield if you're playing a shield i definitely recommend you this this is making the shield so effective way more effective than it is now the enemy will be able to sh to knock down enemies when uh, you throw your shield on it and when you recall it it will knock them down again so this will be extremely handy this is like a wraith build a wrath build i'm not planning to play a wrath build i i don't plan to invest any points into this this is basically giving you a new ability to drain souls yeah but you're gonna drain souls from unaware opponents basically so you can use it at the beginning of the combat and this as soon as you invested like more points into it to re re restore some of your hp it has some utility and in the same time if you are like investing 14 points into it it's making this pretty good because it's giving you absorption a, a passive which is like uh, as soon as you drink a potion you're gonna you, your health will gonna regenerate more quickly so this is a fucking good passive skill but i don't want to invest into rough uh what else you have you have this motherfucker this motherfucker here is like it's based on counters from what i saw counter attacking yeah why i didn't prioritize this and i don't want to play this because i'm never fighting one opponent i'm never fighting like just one or two or three guys sometimes i like five of them i don't know how counter works in this game but i'm thinking if someone is hitting me from behind and i'm just countering in front of me like a di direct attack towards me the other three of them i guess they're gonna hit you so it's kind of pointless to use that you know what i mean it's like why should i deflect one one guy when the other four are still attacking me i didn't test it but that's my thoughts on it and that's why i'm i wasn't playing it this is shit this is this is like pathetic uh, let's go through it just just to just for you guys to understand it it's like energy reg regeneration is sped up by 10 if your health is below 30 hp 10 percent is a extremely slow extremely small amount to put it like yeah uh, your energy regeneration now is like decent you don't need this 10 extra percent if you need if you feel like you need extra regeneration just use some marinated meat it's a consumable and the other one is just pathetic this one is like i don't know who fought on this uh, again this is pathetic it's like if you are below the 30 hp health you're gonna do like five five percent more damage and now just try numbers number wise so you are on 100 damage yeah flat 100 yeah and suddenly you get below 30 percent hp that will give you a 105 damage instead of doing 100 you're gonna do 105 that won't save you from nothing bro that's not saving you if if this was bumped to 50 percent or 15 percent at least 25 percent at least i was like considering investing into it maybe but because it's like precision because this is precision yeah precision is giving you some weapons are scaling with precision and it's giving you poison resistance poison is not a major shit yeah that's why wrath is way better than precision because wrath is giving you like curse resistance curse curse is like annoying because it's uh, limiting your HP, it's like uh, blocking your HP bar, you know. Instead of having 100%, you're gonna have like around 80%. And it's locking it there till you're gonna remove the curse, yeah. 
so yeah I don't know what to say about that now the bet is pointless because again this one is this pony is fucking useless bro if you play wrath yeah okay let's say it's a good thing to have if you want more wrath but in the same time you have no passives on it having no passives on it it make makes it use useless just it, it's good just if you want to go like a full wrath build you know like go mental on wrath but i don't see the point of investing in wrath they could add here like a passive like put it like this regenerating uh, you're gonna regenerate like fury passively just a small amount like one percent per second so where when you are like in or out of combat however they wanted to to put it you know this was like handy to say so because it was helping with fury regeneration but i don't see fury as or fury regeneration as a main issue of the game you know you won't have issues with regener fury regeneration uh, this Hydra is useless, it's good for extra endurance, but again, if they were adding here like a passive skill, you know, like, uh, get some like 10% regeneration on energy, passively, and if you are unlocking it fully, you're gonna get like a 25 regeneration, you know, energy regeneration, it was making some sense, and it was making, you know, maybe... I was like investing into it, you know what I mean? Because extra regeneration, yeah, it's always a good thing to have. Uh, this one is useless, like I said. The bear is kind of useless, but the thing with the bear is like, it's connecting from this, you know, whale. And the thing with the bear is like, look, it's raw strength. Raw strength is good for do for uh, two hand swords, axes. I'm saying like two hand swords, two hand weapons. Yeah, I don't know if they have like two hand axes in this game or two ha uh, two hand uh, hammers, because I, I till now I didn't found one, but maybe they have. So basically, two hand weapons are scaling A. Most of them are scaling A, with strength and i'm thinking to invest a bit into it because you saw i already started because uh, i have a weapon which is scaling a see this one let me actually let me actually see if i'm investing a point yeah but for this i'm not really happy with it because this is like a mix in between physical and divine. I want a full raw physical weapon. And I want to see, as soon as I'm adding a point, how much damage is adding to my weapon. Because uh, I don't mind divine damage, but I guess, I, I guess it's not effective against all types of enemies. So that's why I'm like not considering it like important, to be fair with you. Uh, this ball is like extremely good because it gives you like extra vitality points even on even on this one they could add like a let's say 1% health regeneration out of combat as soon as you unlock it fully that 1% regeneration out of combat it's during the combat as well you know and it was like like making you invest into it for me, because I want to play a full vitality build, I want to play like go mental on vitality, uh, because I, I, I'm trying to do a deathless run here, so I want to invest into it, you know, that's why you have points into it. Again, with the bear, the same shit, they could add like 5% uh, extra damage, as soon as you unlock it fully, you'll get another 10% extra damage, you know what I mean, so... It's about, yeah, the dog is like precision. Precision, like I said, is not, I don't see it like important because even if you get poison, you don't give a shit about poison, you know. Uh, poison is draining your HP slowly. 
but I'm playing it on on Achilles Mazda and I'm not seeing it as a issue because I can use potions and all these things, you know. Again, if they were adding something on it, like some passive skills on it, maybe it was like a go for. Uh, what else we have? I think I I told you about the eagle. Go for the eagle because it's the best if you are trying to use like a shield. Yeah, that's everything. So look, I, I explained you everything in five minutes. It's in the beginning it's looking like it's a complex shit. It's not it's not even looking like an extremely complex thing, but it's looking like can be something about it, but in fact it's not. You don't have so many options. Let's use this weapon. Because I equipped the <laughs> two hand sword, so let's let me try to use it now because I was meanwhile I was investing more into into endurance. So now I can manage endurance better and I think But my energy is draining anyway very fast with this. I'm trying to see what's the most effective way to use it. Heavies are doing some damage. I don't know how the fuck that one missed. Uh, I don't like this because, well, no enemies are around you, your energy is not depleting. Who created this, it can fuck himself. I know it's good because you can run when you have no enemies around you, but in the same time you cannot test. And it's not allowing you to test to see exactly how much um, energy you are like consuming when you are doing a light, a heavy. Well, let's see if I'm coming closer to this motherfucker. Nah, he's still not. Because I was hoping that's allowing me to do that. Uh, this is a bit, uh, a bit of a bullshit, but what oh, that actual fuck? Yeah, the damage on the weapon it's is decent. Imagine having like more strength, I could do a bit more damage. But even though I'm not like extremely, look, this one is annoying. The heavy. Is annoying because it's locking you down for a long period of time and if an enemy starts hitting you you're gonna be fucked you know if you're surrounded by six of them now you're just gonna be fucked like big time so he was like he was like raising up he was like getting up till i was recovering from that shit the to be fair with you i wasn't expecting that hit to connect so the range of it is nice. At least the range of it is fucking badass. And I, s I think this is the... Hmm. Yeah, that's the, the zoning attack looks like a, a interesting one. Even the, even the light attacks, look. They are cleaving like badass. So... Maybe they are a go for. Let me go there because I don't want to miss anything. So yeah, two hand swords. I'm gonna test them later on. I hope I'm gonna find a better, better sword. Like it's effective. It's 485. But let me show you what I'm using. And 485 was that. This is doing like almost 500. You know what I mean? 200. And now because I I have this weapon, like uh, this one, I'm gonna crit most of the times if I'm using heavy, uh, heavy attacks. This weapon is not working on light attacks. So basically, if you are doing light attacks, you won't be able to crit. Uh, I tested all of all of this, like in the previous episodes. Uh, 
if you wanna like get around this game like you can check it, uh, the episode 7 because in that one I spoke about the main issues the game have uh, I spoke about weapons I spoke about bugs glitches because you're gonna find loads of them um, I talked about I covered like most of the sections which I wanted to to include them in like a guide as well but in a guide I was like doing them like in depth like I was talking about them like way better and like analyzing more aspects of the thing but that's what I, I'm gonna do like uh, as soon as we get closer to the end of the game you know what I mean because right now we are like already on map 2 like I said it's we have like just two maps left is that big one which we saw and I guess maybe it's another big one I don't know but we're gonna see if I, I don't see the point of doing like two videos you know it's uh I prefer to do one when I'm finishing almost getting close to the end of the game so I'll have like a better understanding of most of the weapons for example i didn't really played spears i tested spears a lot of them but i really didn't play them yeah which one is the best yeah this is the best so let's equip it i guess spears are good if you are playing it because look you have like some special skills which you can use only with spears yeah Yeah, you have that skill, which is decent, the thorns, because actually, this one is like an AOE, I'm gonna show you, the things which I don't like about spears, and I'm not seeing them effective, you have this lunge attack, lunge attack, while you are in the mid air, they can, enemies can knock you down, yeah, so that's not, not like the best thing. Uh, you can get damage, like you you can get damage while like, you are like in the mid air, and the attacks on it is like, you know, the last one is the small cleave in front of you. This this is nice. This is the. I think this is like kind of the most effective way to play it. With that skill, like because look, he's like doing it. A full AoE damage like 360 around you but the weapon is is not like you know what I mean it's just attacking forward that's why I'm not a big fan I'm gonna try to use the skills more often now to see I'm gonna I'm gonna f do this with I'm gonna do this dungeon with this shit actually it kills I see it has some damage on it uh, I mean the skill, but you see how hard it is to, to attack with without locking. It's a bit confusing, uh, or at least for me, maybe because I'm I'm a bit tired right now. Let's see this. Yeah, they actually did that. Skill is not very bad. And I see it's the cooldown is like. And I instantly, it's like five to seven seconds. Let's see, look what I mean. Ah, I guess this box is not even breaking. I don't know. Okay. Let's use this. Yeah, it's doing, it's doing decent damage. I, I'm not gonna say no. Because. Using this weapon, you can spam these thorns. So spamming thorns, you can stay in between enemies and spam it. I don't know if he's knocking down enemies. Let me see. I don't think so. It's killing them too fast. But the amount of damage on this is like decent. 
So I'm kind of enjoying this weapon in a way. Why, why is it telling me to go back, bro? Oh, fuck, we missed something here. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, but anyway, we can go out and come back in to finish this. Yeah. Fuck that shit. I'm a bit tired because um, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning here, you know what I mean? And I was a bit busy today. What a small dig the guy had. There's the fucking developer. But dumb cunt. I don't know, I, I, I'm not seeing the game like... I really don't see like a lot of options on on your gameplay like, you know what I mean? On your combat style. Uh, I assume if you guys are playing the game anyway, you are using already this attack. Like the lunge attack, I'm calling them lunge attacks, like running heavy one. Is this? No, it's not this. I run out of energy <laughs> before I... I could do it, but yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna show it to you when I'm like... I missed something there, but fuck that shit. Let's see this. This is doing like decent amounts of damage. I'm testing this now. Maybe I need to stay a bit further out here. Yeah, I think that's the way to use it. Because I see he's sending thorns in front of him. Yeah, it's like a cone, to say so. Let me stack a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make them come closer. Actually, this may work. I don't know what to say about it. Because I like this about them, you know, you, you can like fucking knock loads of them down. If you're using the lunge attack. 898, that was a nice damage. 160 and this zone attack is like nice I really enjoy it it's like a 360 cleave which can be bad hmm how the fuck I'm gonna do that Oh, let's, let's gather them, like, down here. I need to pull these archers to come down. I don't know what to say about the damage. It's decent. I guess if you upgrade the weapon and do all these things, the damage will bump up as well. But because this weapon is attacking mainly like in front of you, that's why I don't like it. I prefer like... Uh, the dual wielding is like by far the best. If this game was having a PvP, trust me, I was like proving you my point. We need to unlock this shit. Yeah, we managed to do it with the spikes. Um, spear wise, I don't know. I tested like most of them. Oh, what's that? Okay. Exactly what I was telling you, see? 
this is this type of weapon I was I was waiting for. Actually, this one is like is way better. I don't know which one we have equipped now, but apparently, apparently, divine fortress is doing way more damage. Let me see. Is the main test of it. On this one, we're gonna get 151 physical, but we're gonna lose 186 divine. Let's let's do a test. I think we finished this. Yeah, let me go out and come back inside. So, for any of you who wants to play like like a two-hand weapon. Uh, I definitely recommend you Fortress Fiery Fortress and Divine Fortress I think this one is the best I'm gonna I'm gonna test it Let me see actually If I'm equipping this And I'm going to skills And let's say we're gonna put one more point into this it's adding 3 plus 5, you see? So basically we have 8 damage bonus, yeah? It's not a big amount. If you... Equip Fortress, the normal one, and you're... Oh, it's 12. You know what I mean? So instead of getting 8, you get 12. For each single point. So physical... Physical damage will bump up, like on... Hmm, actually, I now thinking on it, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have... Then, so you have like 20... 25, let's say 25 multiplied by a fucking 3, because in each node you can invest like 3 points. We're gonna have 75. Now, 75 multiplied by 10, let's say a minimum of plus 10 damage, even though it's like plus 12. You're gonna get 750 at least extra damage on this weapon. If you play a full build, so 750 will mean you are doing around 1000 with a light damage, light attack. And if you use a heavy, I guess it's like even that, like 2.53k per hit. Let me see something else, what skills can we use with this? Nah, because I, f I think this will go like fucking. Th this will be like, because if you use a skill, I guess it's scaling with the weapon. So if you, bro, I think you can break the game like that. I think everything will get be like one shot. Let me see if I'm using this. Nine hundred thirty-seven. Are you fucking kidding? Bro, that's that's sick. Yeah, it's it's quite. I see damage, right? This is doing two hundred eight. Yeah, fuck it. We need to attack the same same type of enemy. We have four hundred twenty eight on. Heavy charge. The lights are quite fast, you know what I mean? For a for a two-hand sword. For a two-hand sword, this is like extremely fast. Where the fuck is the chest? Don't tell me it's up. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually. 
This weapon is insane. I'm telling you, this weapon can break the game. Like a two-hand weapon can break the game. The only thing with it is like, as soon as you run out of stamina, the risk of getting stun lock, it's slightly increased. Because the, the main attack, because most of the time you're gonna encounter this, you're gonna, you're gonna attack, yeah, you're gonna run out of stamina. As soon as you run out of stamina, let me show you. Now, this. Your guy will have a brain fart in the middle, see? And you're gonna get hit. Even if you hit the one in front of you, if the other one is behind you, he can hit you. And when the one behind you will hit you, you'll be stun locked. And now you are exposed to extremely insane potential damage if you are surrounded by six enemies. That's what I'm I'm thinking now, you know. It's like it can be extremely effective, don't get me wrong. But the cleaves, look. I'm gonna do it like here, yeah? So, it's not cleaving behind, look. You need to you need to turn this. It's, it's doing like a free... Not 360, it's like 180 degree. If you do the running one, yeah, it's fine. But the issue is like, as soon as you run out of stamina, you won't be able to. Because if you run and you try to attack, your guy will gonna have a brain fart. And it won't really work like... Yeah, let, me, let me use the light, okay. The light attack on this, it's 1-1-1. One, one, one. Bro, let me fucking switch my web. Ah, we had this one equipped. Yeah. Okay, so with the fortress equipped, let's see now. 208. With divine equipped, 232. What the fuck? Actually, divine is better. I don't understand what divine is really doing. Uh, calm the fuck down. 112. 146 in the. Yeah, but it's just because we are like. Uh, having that, that lion passive skill, you know, which is like increasing damage in combo. So if you chain a combo up, you're gonna get a bump on your damage. I need to do more testing with this weapon because apparently I enjoy it. It's like decent. And I'm gonna test the spear as well a bit more because even the spear is like quite sick. With that skill, it's extremely good. I need to find like a... Yeah, this one is like... Yeah, that... This skill is extremely... Extremely efficient. Let me see if I... I'll be able to spam it. Now. Okay, you need to get like some distance. Go back. Now you need to... Like, yeah. Yeah, actually, this is doable, bro. You can always whirlwind. It's like... All you need to do is like... Let a bit of energy recover and just do this. Again, press space and do this. I like that. I like that this a lot. This is the escape button. <laughs> From a shitty situation. If I was having my fucking <laughs> dual wielding, they were like fucking shred. Uh, dual wielding is shredding through them. Like, like it's nothing. And you, you are just pressing light attacks. But this may be extremely effective. 
I'm gonna use it in the next one as well, you know what I mean? Because I want to see a, a difference in between this weapon and like my dual wielding build. Because what I'm using now for dual wielding is like, it's like sick. And imagine I can even bump it up even more the damage, you know. But I don't want to upgrade any one hand swords or or weapons now. You have a 430. I think I can do more damage with a heavy. And the energy consumption will be way better on dual wielding. And you are missing with this a lot. Not a lot, I, I, I'm not gonna say a lot, I just missed like a couple of times, even down in that, up in that dungeon. I think the best way to use this is like by... By efficiently manage your stamina, so you can do the whirlwind like. Because if you run out of stamina, because uh, this will happen, trust me. You're gonna run. Stamina is going out and you're gonna do like a swing. And the swing is not not covering your back. Like. But let's test more with this. And after that I'm gonna switch back to the... Back to the... How you call it? The spear. Because I wanna do more tests with the spear as well. I wanna give you like some... Some info about them as well. Because apparently I'm not gonna do another fucking... I'm not gonna do a guide now. And it's better for me to test them. And why not testing them... Now. Yeah, that's the best shit to use, apparently. But now you just need to... Yeah. You need to... Just time your fucking attacks well, and that's it. Because you need to run and just manage a bit. Of, it's it's not hard to do that. Where the fuck we need to go, bro? Because I don't want to go. Actually, we can go there. I want to see if we can use the. Yeah, but see, that's what I don't like about it. Because you're gonna be. You're gonna get more hits. You know, the chances of you getting hit like by enemies when you're using these are way bigger than the dual wielding. I'm not saying this weapon, if you focus strength, you're gonna fucking one hit everything on them. I bet that. And I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna test that as well. Because right now, till now I, I didn't really have like a proper sword and I, I didn't thought this sword is better than using just physical damage. Because from my point of view, I'm gonna be honest, I thought this one is better than this. But because and I still think this that this one is better than this. This one is better now to say so. Just because it has more damage. The divine damage say, is like a 35 extra damage on this one. Even if it's divine, but it's extra damage, yeah. This is like raw fucking damage. That's the nice part about it. It's raw damage, it's raw physical damage. And I don't know how many enemies are affected by the divine damage. Get me that I don't know. And I didn't manage to find out yet. Because I'm thinking divine is extremely effective against curse. Like, like uh, it's extremely good against like skeletons. Against cultists, against raids, 
because it's divine, you know what I mean? So it will do like extra damage towards them. And Take him. yeah, he's not having like. If I'm investing more, but I think it, the fortress will gonna will gonna shit on it later on, because if you invest like a lot, uh, this was was scaling like twelve on one point of strength. This were like the damage was bumping up with five. If you are using this one. So imagine in in couple of levels. In 10 levels this will be already better than this. You know what I mean? Because that extra damage is like. That was, was having like 5 plus 3. So it's an 8. And the fortress was like. Bro what this is missing. And I ran out of. Of that. Uh. energy again because that's the tricky part about it you need to keep it spinning or no i think that the best way to do it is doing light attack <laughs> i don't know i'm so confused but that's why we are testing i like the whirlwind it's like badass But uh, maybe we're gonna get a better weapon in this one. Who knows? But I see in these dungeons you have some drop. I want a uh... bro. This is quite sick. You can chain it with as soon as you do this. You can do a light. Two lights. And the light attack is like... Let me see. And they are fast as fuck. For a two-hand weapon, this weapon is extremely fast. It's like... Chaining it... Chaining up like extremely fast. The attack. At least the light attack. Fucking hell, this is... Let me see how big this shit is. Fuck this one. I don't like when... When these ones are fucking huge. Or 18. Or 18. Yeah, definitely when you are fighting a one enemy, I think it's... The heavies are like amazing. But again, if you're like fighting more than one enemies, you're gonna... Some of them are gonna hit you, you know what I mean, so... And as soon as you get hit, you're gonna be stun locked. And there's where the issue will be. Okay, so we have this motherfucker, okay. Let's test on this. So, heavy out from this is 485. Or 28, okay. I'm testing the weapons I used. 42, 52, I guess. But this will create off on air, so you are like on 550. It's not a big difference though. But this is like insane. I lo I don't know. I just equip them and I just love them, bro. It's like they are outclassing any weapon in the game for the time being, at least. And I hope there are some fucking gold weapons as well, you know, like fucking legendary or how the fuck they wanna call them, or maybe even orange one or red one. You, you know what I mean? Check this shit, bro. This, this, this is this weapon that I am fucking shitting on everything. 
And with these weapons you can play fucking full vitality because they are not fucking giving a shit about scaling and all that things. You can play weapons like needle, yeah. Needle you, with needle you don't need scaling on it. When I try to upgrade needle, I, I checked the upgrade on needle. The needle is, is getting like plus 16 damage per upgrade point. I know it's not scaling with anything, but needle if you equip, equip it in the main hand. It's the fastest weapon you can get. It's like say, the fastest things. I don't like it because it's not like I don't like it. I, I I'm still thinking this is better because you cleave 360. And you know how many times, for example, I was surrounded by enemies, skeletons most of the time, and I was doing an attack, and you'll see the guy behind you will get hit. The ones which are like next to you, surrounding you, all of them are getting hit. And as soon as they are getting hit, they are fucked because all of them get stun locked. And this being the first in the chain, the first attack in the chain, even if you run out of stamina, you're gonna. Ch this will be like the best thing because you're gonna do it like 360 around you, and you're gonna stun all the enemies. The cleave, the cleave, the the zoning attack. I'm calling this zoning attack. Uh, reminds me so much of the Peacekeeper, if you guys play like fucking For Honor. It's like... It's Peacekeeper. I stopped playing For Honor when they nerfed Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper was my favorite... Fighter like... She was just insane that bitch. And after they nerfed it, and I don't know, you have like, I didn't play it for like a long period of time, I bet there are some fucking OP characters now in that one. And because I love Samurai and all that things, I was playing Rocky as well. Yeah, as soon as they nerfed Peacekeeper, I was playing a lot of Rocky. So yeah, that this is my fault. Not not really my fault, but this is what I'm like thinking about. So hands, what? I'm still gonna play them just to understand the the thing with them. But in the same time, it's it's a very interesting weapon. And I think with this weapon, or this two hand sword, you can break the game, like, breaking it like big stack. Maybe I, I'll manage to do it with dual wielding as well. It's this fucking idiot. See, that, that's what I don't like about it, you know, because the weapon is fucking slow. And you run out too fast of stamina. You know? like, the light attacks on it, they are decent. But the fucking heavies, they are like this. <laughs> the heavies are like making you stay there for fucking. I think you get you get locked into that animation for one second at least. I'm not like <laughs> I'm not trying to shit on the weapon, you know what I mean. I'm just trying to to understand what what's the best way to play it. Because put it like this, some opponents you won't be able to knock them down, you know. So that will be a that will require some extra effort from you. But even though you have the skills, because yeah, you have some skills to knock them down. I'm curious how the damage is with the skills on this. Bro, we can still move on there. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's do that side first. And after that, we're gonna 
go to the left. But this whirlwind is so satisfying. I swear to God. It's a... This is a nice zone, I think. is there now i'm yawning a lot <laughs> i hope you guys are not hearing it but <laughs> i'm yawning a lot it's like like i said it's pretty late is like huge it's fucking bro what the fuck we got ourselves into ah it's not really one come on come on we can do this the only thing is like not having my main weapons i cannot really rush the shit out of it because i'm not familiar with in the best way. The heavies are decent. Heavies are quite decent to be fair with you. Bro, this fucking zoning attack, bro, I, I love that world. I just fucking love it, I swear to God. It's so satisfying. I guess if you mix it a bit with endurance, you can make a fucking beast out of this weapon. Like, out of the two-hand weapons, I guess you can fucking shit on everything. And mixing, like, a bit of the... a bit of... Uh, bro, don't lock that shit. Uh, mixing a bit with... Uh, with endurance, it's a must on two-hand weapons, you know? Mmm... Because you're gonna find, I guess you're gonna find yourself plenty of times in, in like, bro, but the range of it is ma, it's, it's marvelous, look. Uh, I need to learn the range of it. Bro, yeah, 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 it has a, bro, you can outplay the fucking shit out of them. Because even if you don't have like a fast recovery from this attack, you can play a range nicely. Let me see a light. A heavy. The poor lion. <laughs> the poor lion was like killed by the Zweihander. That, that ones are fast, I swear. When you have the infinite stamina like, like this, you, you are realizing this weapon is fucking fast, bro. And the fourth attack is like decent. I, I really want to see how the fourth attack connects into the enemy. <laughs> but because I don't have enough energy, I'm never reaching that point. Let me see now if I can... I think this is her only downfall. I can do more and more. Get him. Extremely fuck off guns. I need to see this skill. I need to see some damage on that skill. If that's scaling properly. This will be a beast of a weapon. Oh fuck, what we have there? 
Bro, fuck this. Guys, just tell me your opinion about this fucking chest. I'm very curious about what you think about this fucking retard chest. Besides testing your eyesight, that shit is doing nothing, bro. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm playing Finding Waldo, I swear to God. Just to look for that fucking shit. Okay, there's one there. Oh, <laughs> bro, that's funny. <laughs> Smash them one. That's it. Oh, fuck. That's the best way to... Break like rooms which are like sitting on walls and shit. But sometimes, just because you cannot reach them, I recommend you throwing bombs or darts. But the thing with darts, yeah, is that the thing with darts is like darts, sometimes you need to throw like fucking six darts on it, you know. Even though sometimes it's working on the first one, sometimes it's not. Yeah, we fucking complete this shit. So let's grab the loot. Give us the best weapon ever. Let's do some fucking voodoo incantations. Come on. Bro, we got like fucking 50 golden. What the fuck was that? And the fire crystal? Hmm, I don't know if it was worth it, this one. We just wasted like fucking 20 minutes of our life. For nothing. For fuck's sake. But anyway, I'm a completionist, so... That's why I'm like, to be fair with you, that's why I came back. Because I'm a completionist and I, I prefer to do everything. The only thing which is concerning me now, and I'm gonna be extremely honest with you, is the are the rifts I swear the rifts are like concerning me a lot because this one was like show, showed on the map but this one it wasn't and I remembered I passed this one it, just because I teleported here I realized yeah I there are there are more than just one so right now I'm extremely confused. Because I don't want to run this shit again. Uh, but again, I'm going to check on the internet. At least the locations of them or something. Because I guess it's, bu it's a bug or something. I am going to check on the internet and let you know. What's the deal with them. Maybe I need to destroy this shit and after that they will pop up. Who knows? But right now we can go to this. Let me see how. Let's see if we make it. Kind of the same distance. Not really. How many points we have to? Okay, look, so look what I was talking about. Say so you get like 3 and 8. 3 and 5, so that's a 8. If I'm equipping that motherfucker, the fortress. I'm getting 12, see? That's what I'm saying, like, oh, and now I'm getting 13. Bro. So, now you understand that this weapon, we're gonna catch up with this. Soon enough. This is scaling C. 
with precision and wrath as well. That's the thing. Which is interesting in a way. So right now we are on minus 28 damage. Before we were like on minus 38 or something. Or something like that. But yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. We got spices. Bro. I didn't even saw this cat. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe cats are, have something to do with the fucking rift? No. No. This woman is a bit crazy, I'm telling you. She's brushing that things for like fucking... Come on, Alain. Leave me be. Let me test this skill. 650. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is it? This is the chopper. Dude, these weapons are funny, you know. Right? They are like hilarious. Let me use the other one because this one has like better damage. So we have now one more skill point. We said we have one more fucking... Yeah, this one. So let's go back on this and let's move on. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I love this weapon in a way. The only thing is, as soon as you, you are doing the heavy, stop, man. As soon as you're doing the heavy, you're gonna run out this of stuff. Here is where you, you are like finding Yante. Yante was, from my point of view, this was the nicest quest. Uh, she gives you a quest to go inside uh, and check for her brothers. You find, you are finding there like her brother remains, which are like the fucking skeletons. They are not attacking you, but they are like laying down on the floor. So, after that you are going inside here. And you realize she's like a specter, or a wraith, however you want to No, it's a specter, like, or a ghost. And she's somehow connected to a skeleton king. And as soon as you beat him, you're gonna set her... You're gonna find her remains. And you are like just releasing her spirit basically. And that's the quest. But what I was thinking like is here you are like inside the Menelaus estate, you know what I mean? And I was thinking how daft the, the guys were, you know? They could connect this Yante girl to Menelaus, you know what I mean? So connecting like to be fucking... And maybe that's why Menelaus went like crazy, you know, maybe it was his daughter and things like this, you know. Or how how the how she died actually. He killed her or who killed her. It was nice to play with that story more, you know, it gives you a lot of 
things to play with, you know, but these developers' creativeness, creativeness is like zero, so they are like tough as fuck, so you won't, you won't really need to exit. When you play this game, don't expect for something like amazing. If that amazing shit is happening, it's a bonus, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just a bonus, bro. I need to check. Yeah, this weapon is doing way more damage with this skill. The other one was like on 630 and this one is 8 fucking 70 and a bit. So... Oh, oh fuck this shit, bro. This is a big one. It looks like it. I, I, hope, I hope it's not. Because if again we are like doing this and we get no fucking weapon, we'll be late. Robin Hood, calm the fuck down. I thought I saw something here, but not. Bro, we can one shot them. And they are spectating me. I have one shot. I'm starting enjoying this weapon like. Not the greatest, but let's test the spear again. Because I want to see the spears, like how effective this they can be. <laughs> Just fucking poking. <laughs> These guys. Yeah, I don't know what's about this PS. Compared to fucking sword. I don't know. But actually, let's use that skill which was like doing the spear like what they are. Damage is not extremely pain. But this skill is nice. <laughs> See him boys. That's the only thing with these peers is like they have Extremely nice skill. This is making it like way more effective than we are like thinking. Okay, so we can get down there. Let's see. Oh, because I see it's here a path. Yeah, and I miss my skill completely, like. Not 
I thought we can get inside, but apparently we can. So that's disappointing. Okay, we get we got some spices. So we can cook some meat now. Yeah, I'm shooting a statue there. Bro, that's sick. We almost one shot it. So I guess I need to be closer with that skill. If I'm like in their face, I guess it's better. That's a nice one. This is an extremely useful one. Even though if you can get hit. You know, because you can get hit. But at least is uh, knocking them down. Yeah, and it's so easy. Last famous word, it's so easy. This skill is actually better than I thought. What the fuck? That skill is um, is extremely good. It's amazing. Like I think that shit can one shot a lot of enemies. Like we need to test this shit like properly. So. We've been there, yeah. That's why this is not consuming energy while enemies are not around, it's extremely useful. But in the same time it's shit because you cannot really test what your weapons are. I really doing yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You shouldn't have come here. <laughs> See him, boys. They died almost instantly. One of it was like instantly killed, but the other one was like a bit damaged. Because I managed to squeeze some attacks. Kill the Actually, I don't know, I start enjoying this weapon. It can be extremely effective, and that skill is sick. This skill, the like Q skill, is like just too good now. I 
let's see what we'll get onto this one. So, wanna do spear? Why they didn't connect it? A bridge, bro, from that side to this one, bro. Why didn't fucking hell? We can still explore here, though, but I don't understand why they, they are not doing connections in between these fucking places, bro. It's like just, just prosthetic, you know what I mean? And it's annoying because I need to go around a lot. I hope it will connect, you know, that's the thing. Okay, so let's move on. Come on, come on. she has on her head. I don't know if that's a crown, but it's looking awkward. Where the fuck are you running, cunt? Poison weapons are decent, but I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, so let's move on. I think this... This looks exactly the same as the cultist area. Not exactly, exactly the same, but that, that's that part of the map. What the fuck we have here? Fucking hell, bro. It's looking like another half of it. Is. Give me your money, bastard. <laughs> Okay. Sorry for not talking a lot, but I'm I'm like extremely tired. Um, and I'm just enjoying this weapon. It's like using Q, using the the skill on Q. This one is like quite easy. And you just spam the shit out of it. Okay, let's put them both in. And let's test. Evil. Perhaps I should use that classic. I tried to press it exactly when. And it's normal that the game registers that I pressed it, but first knocked me down. What 
the synchron on them. My boys synchronize themselves. Yeah, let's see this. Bronze fragments and divine crystal. Uh, fuck it. It's not like the best shit. But at least we got something. Yeah, so apparently this... This spear is like not not bad at all. I'm thinking like if we can upgrade, if, if we're gonna up upgrade the weapon, you know, maybe this skill will do even more damage. So keeping in mind that, imagine we will be able to really one shot most of these fucking enemies. And that's a pretty large AOE. You see that motherfucker died. This one was dropped to uh, half HP, but still though. Kill the A moment to be fair to you, I was expecting to have like a bit more of a range, you know, like because the range of it is fine, but but like it's just slightly. Reaching like a bit more. Get him! Let's set him on fire, come on. It's uh, it's interesting. I think the spikes, you know, the thorns, are going where you are pointing the, your mouse. I'm gonna test this. I'm I'm extremely curious because if you can control the thorns with your mouse, bro. I don't know. What's the deal with this butterfly like? This is interesting. So till now I didn't really use spears. I tested some of them but I didn't use them in combat like you know what I mean. But uh, just now to realize they are like quite fun. We have this one button to press. And that's it. You rely on, on that skill to be fair with you, you rely a lot on this torn, torn skill. Because this is the best shit on this weapon. In the same time it has like some nice, the zoning attack is nice on it, it's extremely nice on it. Uh, the lunge attack can be interesting but can be extremely Easy, uh, easy to counter, you know, because 
a lot of a lot of these big tall motherfuckers they will do this you know to you and they can do this to you even if you're like in in mid air high and uh, some of the one hand soldiers one head sword soldiers they will be like charging a awkward an attack on you a very awkward attack on you and that can that can kill you like pretty fast that attack if you're like on this point on the game and you have invested like some fucking vitality yeah you won't die because that's why i invest like vitality just because i don't want to be like one shot eh? But uh, some of the enemies can punish you for doing that, this attack, for example. This is extremely satisfying. And leveling the weapon up, I guess it's adding a lot of damage on that skill Give me your money, bastard. it's awkward a bit because you need basically to lock target most of the times if you're fighting like a single enemy it looks like sometimes you really need to lock target you know what i mean The zoning is pretty useful. The zoning attack is pretty useful. And now tell me that this shitty area connects to the other one, bro. Don't tell me this is a dead end. Oh, fuck sake. Bro. My guy is looking like a porcupine. You know what I mean? It was like, he had like two arrows in his back. Yeah. Check this, look, I, I want, I want you to understand why I hate these fucking developers. I'm, I'm not hating them, like, but I, I, I think they are stupid as fuck. That's my main point of view. Level design, yeah? They were like, okay, let's make a dungeon. Okay, they they build this shit. I don't I don't mind it. What what is bothering me the most? Yeah. Now you are trying to do this shit in one in one run, yeah? So you won't like go in circles and fucking move around and do all this bullshit, yeah? Doesn't matter from what you you reach this point and you need to choose a side. Right? or left yeah you're going left you're going left so basically you need to explore this explore this move on explore this explore if you go here you're gonna find the the teleport so you need to come back and continue doing this explore this explore this explore this explore this and you reach here just for you to take you there like use the teleport to go up you need to go there you know to use the teleport what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go here but the thing is like where they didn't make a they can build a bridge you know like two bridges here we were here and we saw this side if you remember we were in this shit and we saw this side this wall why didn't they put a bridge why didn't they put a bridge here why didn't they connect this one you know what I mean? It's like, if you want me to tell you why, it's just because you, if you didn't explore it fully and you were like stopping here and you just went like this, just for you to go back up here, so you're gonna spend another fucking 10, 15 fucking minutes just to walk around, like, you know what I mean? 
This is called artificial content. And a lot of games have this. Even in the past, a lot of games had this shit in them. It's it's so daft, you know. It's like, why, why you need to put a player through all this shit? Why he needs to go in circles and fucking... Oh, I missed them. I don't know how. But apparently I missed them. It's like just fucking connect everything. Because anyway, it's the fucking dungeon, bro. No one wants to spend like fucking... You know how sleepy I'm feeling now? I was tired before. Well, now I feel like fucking hell, guys. That's why I think I'm gonna... F as soon as I'm finishing this shit, I'm gonna end the recording for... Uh, for today, I'm gonna go and get some sleep. And after that, I'm gonna start recording again, because I want to finish the game. I want to get on the end of this game as soon as possible. My main concern now, guys, are the rifts. And this shit as well. And this shit as well. This looks like an unexplored area. Oh, fuck sake. Let's go and explore this. At least now. Because I'm feeling so tired. But I want to explore that shit. Just to move on with this map. And uh, I'm going to check where the rifts are. You know, I'm going to check a map on the... On Google. Just to see... And to understand if we can fix it, I'm gonna check for a fix or something. But maybe we need to go on foot two weeks to check them. Is maybe that's another thing. What they were supposed to just appear on the map? Because if they were supposed to appear on the map. Yeah, but fuck it. Now we explored everything. It's so cool because we passed. We explored all the fucking map. They were like supposed to be here, you know what I mean? That's what I'm not understanding. How the fuck they are not showed on the map. Because we explored all the map. Because Because we've been in kind of most of every single fucking corner beside this area and this area. I don't know. I'm still confused in a way. It's even a bug. Or... Something stupid. But this game is so fucking buggy, you know what I mean? I don't even... I'm not even surprised, guys, I swear to God. Yeah, let's... Keep that shit. Ah, let's do... Let's do something interesting. Let's try to... Oh, we have two... We have another one here... Yeah, yeah, let's... This is my way... Of... Farming in MMO... Bro, they fucking instant die... What the fuck... This spear is like fucking insane. A moment longer. Well, you know, I'm taking all my words back about the spear. The spears are fucking. 
bro and each single thorn it's coming which is coming out it's regenerating fucking because you know i like plenty of them coming out and for each hit is regenerating fury for a killed opponent is regenerating fury that's fucking sick when you use them on large target it's like sick Killing, it's adding damage, like 12 damage on each attack. I don't know what to say about it, but it's... To be fair with you guys, I'm starting changing my mind about this spell. Imagine upgrading this spear, you know what I mean? It's... I don't know why this fucking tree is not coming now. Yo, Mr. Doggy, bring your fucking whole pack here. At least I was like... Hitting all... All spikes on them at least, you know what I mean? Explore it, yeah. Now the only issue remains the fucking rifts. But like I said, I'm gonna... Well, well, well. What the fuck do you want, bro? I'm gonna check the the internet for them. Even if it's a bug, even if I'm not gonna go and look for their locations. Fuck this shit! I explored this fucking map once. That's it, bro. I'm not gonna do it again and again. Take what you want, but let me leave. Cause now I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm maybe I, it's maybe we made something wrong. Maybe I played it like somewhere, or maybe I just need to explore the map. You know, I like two options. Maybe I need to take this one out. Let me go and take that shit out. And after that, I'm gonna. We're gonna end the, the recording because I'm, I'm like yawning this. Like, it was like a, a boring thing for me to do. And now, let's press M. And hopefully... Nah, fuck this shit. Yeah, we have the location of two of them, but... Oh, 
I don't know what to say about it. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thanks all for watching and uh, thanks for your patience. Today we tested the, the, some weapons and things. I don't know if I'm gonna do the guide, but I'll promise you a guide on the when we get close to the the end of the game, you know, because we're gonna test more weapons. Maybe we're gonna get some fucking uh, legendary or I don't know the the gold or red weapons as well, you know, so we can do more tests about them. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.